Hi, it's Mary Jo McCauley with AngelsTalk.com, and I am here with the June Angels Outlook. What a long, strange trip it's been this year. <laughs> the thing that I am getting from the Angels right now that I want to share with you is that, yeah, there have been a lot of challenges, particularly with the quarantines and stuff, but they really want you to look for the blessings that are happening right now. And if you can just think of one blessing, please put it right down. Make your comment and tell me what your blessing is, because the more we share those blessings, the more we will bless everyone. So they asked me to say that before we go on to the rest of their reading for the month of June. Challenges around, but please, what is it that you're grateful for? Okay, put it right down there. Thank you. And as you know, I have already cleared the deck of previous energies and called in Archangel Michael to surround us with his veil of protection. And I ask that this reading be a real blessing to all of us. And they just told me five cards. That's more than normal. <laughs> okay, so we'll go for it. Five cards. One. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, got the cards now. Let's see what they look like. Some of these are really good. <laughs> okay, five cards. First of all, it starts off with Archangel Raguel bringing you clairsentience, and that is getting information by your feelings, your emotional feelings, and, and sometimes your physical feelings, but paying attention to those feelings that, you know, that, that little knot that you might get in your gut that says, mm, this maybe isn't exactly right, or when that feeling of just an angel hug comes around you and you know everything is right. Pay attention to your clairsentience because being inside in particular, we don't have as much access to other things, but clairsentience doesn't make any difference. Clairsentience is what they're asking you to pay attention to in the month of June. And also the next card is Archangel Zadkiel. And this card is very important. Compassion. Compassion for your everybody that's what they're going through. There are so many people that are in really challenging biggest challenges of their lives, um, financially, emotionally, spiritually, have compassion for them, but also have compassion for yourself. This is, like I said, this is a bit challenging. This is a, a little extra <laughs> challenge that we've been given. It's a gift, but have, have compassion for everybody in each of their own individual situations. The middle card, the third card, it's Archangel Raphael, who is bringing healing to this whole situation. And the card is breathe. Breathe. Don't get caught up in all of the stuff that's on the news. Breathe. They told me also that we are to go inside our doors so we can go inside ourselves. And so go inside and breathe. Breathe all the deep breaths and exhale slowly. <sighs> Whatever it is you don't need, you will find that when you do that, you'll breathe in Archangel Raphael's energy and you'll exhale everything you don't need. And then we got a great one because we have had all this time to not be busy with matters of consequence and Archangel Uriel comes in with the fourth card. Brilliant idea. Pay attention to the ideas the epiphanies that you're getting. There's a reason that they're coming. And like I said, generally most of us get so caught up in world stuff and, and taking care of matters of consequence that we tend to pass by that incredibly great idea. So don't pass it by. You have a brilliant idea. And finally, it's Archangel Shamuel that's coming in finally, because the ultimate thing with the clairsentience, the compassion, the breathing in Raphael's energy and getting brilliant ideas. The final one is peace. 
from Archangel Shamuel. And isn't peace what we're all really looking for? Peace comes where remembering comes from remembering that only love is real. Only love. So realize Claire Sentience, compassion, breathe, brilliant idea will all bring peace. Okay, that's a great reading for this month. And I had a little analogy that it recently was shared with me that I'd like to share with you that I think is great too. And this is not with the reading, but I think it's great. Um, there was a group and a, and a whole group of students and the teacher had him around and said, had all these cups on his desk, all different kind of cups. He said, go up and get yourself a cup and pour yourself some uh, coffee. And so they went up, got cups. There were plastic ones. There were cracked ones. There were ornate ones. There were gorgeous ones. They were all, you know, every kind of cup that you can imagine. And then when each student had their cup, they kind of sort of checked out everybody else's. And then his analogy was very good. He said, I want you to look at your cup. You're all wanting to get the best cup, the prettiest one. But what really makes a difference is what's inside the cup. That is life. It doesn't make any, then the cup is just to hold the life. It doesn't make any difference how glorious it is or have people envy you what you have. Your life, what it is holding, is your life. And that is the coffee in the cup. Pay attention to your life. Pay attention to what's in the cup. Not that your cup just got a couple cracks in it, <laughs> okay? So life is good and do remember, because they have told me, after all is said and done with this pandemic, there's gonna be really positive changes. And there's just a few that are being a bit challenging for us to deal with at the moment, but it's still good, okay? Well, that's it. I've rambled on a little bit too long this time. Mary Jo McCulley, angelstalk.com. And if you have a comment, particularly something that you're grateful for, put it right down there, okay? And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.